Yeah, I know. They're all a bunch of bastards anyway. Hello. <sighs> it's early morning, so I've got to keep the volume down. Oh, been a while since that the old me phone has all got uh, make my arms atrophied. Not as strong as it used to be. <sighs> a few rules for Crypto Club. First rule, do your own research. What do I mean by do your own research? Don't watch YouTube videos as your sole source of uh, information. Company website, partnerships, use cases, things of that sort. Other news articles that are published in the interwebs. Shit of that nature. Rule number two. Don't take advice from anyone other than yourself. Don't take advice from videos. Don't listen to anyone apart from you. Seems like a hard concept that everyone starts fucking jumping on the bandwagon. You're telling everyone to sell. No, they're not. You're just being an asshole. Rule number three. Apparently is everyone just has to be an asshole. Rule number four. Set your own expectations, I think, is the, uh, the fourth rule. Because everyone's got different circumstances, everyone's got different targets, everyone's got different holdings, so don't compare your get out price with someone else's get out price. All very interesting, I know. But um when you read so much tripe so early in the morning it does sort of piss you off a bit, you know. <sighs> very very uh, misguided and uh, ill-informed individuals out there at the moment, I feel. Even now, you know, Mr. Logic referred to the video that I posted yesterday about technical analysis. And then someone will see uh, unlock the gate to the funny farm because everyone was out making chopsy comments on his... Uh, video about how it's fake and you're telling everyone to sell and it's risky selling to try and catch the bottom. Gotta be honest, I fucking missed that point of his video where he's telling everyone to fucking sell and buy and lower. Do you? But uh, the point I was trying to convey is that if you're a big bank, you've got some cheddar, you've got more time and more money than anyone to just sit back and go, well, where's the best place? And if you ask anyone that actually trades any other market about technical analysis and what that stuff is made up of, and then the all-important question, does it apply to crypto? Does it work? Yeah, yes, yes it does. Most people that, not saying everyone, but most people that say it is fake or it doesn't work are bloody morons, aren't they? Or they don't use it. Or they're flat earthers. You fall off the edge. What you got to remember with a chart, here's a, here's a little nugget for you, right? All the charts showing you is all the orders that have been filled. So all those candles, all that's showing, that's, that's the information of orders that have been filled. Now, have you ever looked at a chart and go, fuck me? Got down to that price and shot to the fucking sky. It went up before you could do anything. Why, why is that? Have you ever asked yourself why at that point? Was it that everyone was waiting in front of their computers on their phones with the 
Oh, it's getting close. Oh, can I? No. The way a market works, like you would if you went to McDonald's, where you're probably typing with your chubby digits on people's videos, stuff in your faces. Not to generalise, I do enjoy a good, a good, a good McDonald's. I love it. But people involved in the market, they play something called a order. Like you would when you order your food. Does your food come out instantly? No, sometimes you've got to wait. The food hasn't been cooked. Normally, if you have to wait longer, that's a good thing in McDonald's. Because I tell you what, if you've ever been to McDonald's and bought something and it fucking comes out straight away, you know that's been sat in the fucking heater. Lukewarm patties. Still eat them, though. Orders. So the orders sat there. So as prices go up and it's going up and then it starts to come down, the smart money, as you often will overhear, the smart money will have gone, hmm, let's look at our fake technical analysis and see where price won't move from. So they've looked at their chart and they found an area and gone, hmm, that looks like a good area to place an order. So more people do the same thing, identify the same thing because of technical analysis to identify the area where they can place their order, air quote, fuck out this one. So inevitably, when the price keeps pushing and people are getting scared, going, it's going down, and they're selling and they're selling, effectively helping the price get to the point where everyone's set their order, they all get filled at the same fucking time. And they go up to the next point. All about probabilities. But most of you are thinking more about the cheddar tomorrow, end of year. We'll see you, won't we? Because I tell you what. As things play out, you'll start to see these areas where orders are set. I'm not saying it's going to happen, because it's about probabilities. I don't know what's going to fucking happen. Just as much as the next person doesn't know what can happen, or will happen. It could go to fucking zero. But if it does, I don't care. But no one knows. And all you idiots that keep watching videos like you, they know. Have you seen the video? Have you done? Yeah. He knows. So many followers. No one knows. All I know is I've got to wait. And I'll wait and wait and wait and we'll see what fucking happens. There's obviously other people that are still stuck in the summer or in the beginning of the year going, but you said it was going to move by now. Yeah, we don't know the fucking future, do we? Backpedaling my arse. What statements were made in February, in April, in the summer, were all based on the facts that were available in January, in February, in April, in the summer. But the fact is, the people making the comments are generally the people that don't know what the fuck they're doing. Fuck you doing? <sighs> Fucking hard work. That's why I got rid of Twitter. So I have to read all this tripe that's just dribbling in day in, day out, day in, day out. The ones who know what they're doing, they're the fucking ones being quiet and just sitting back going, meh, more to life. I'll live my life. <laughs> But I felt I had to make this video just to, well, if nothing else, it entertains a few, but just to address a few points that I've seen on these videos. And mostly the people making all these comments, the ill-informed, the misguided, the mistaken, will be the ones who probably will make a fair chunk of cheddar. But 
they'll eat it too quick. They don't think about what they're doing. And then they're worse off in the first place. <sighs> I feel like a brew now. Mentally exhausted from all that. But for anyone that uh, thinks that technical analysis on crypto is fake, if you go on TradingView, that's tradingview.com, search for a user called Stink, Sierra Tango, India November Kilo, S-T-I-N-K, Stink. 25th of November, I posted an idea of what I thought could happen. Not that would happen, but that could. Because remember, it's about probabilities, not sureties. Just have a look. Click the idea. Press the play button. If you're really that much of a pioneer against technical analysis, go fucking search it. Go look on TradingView all the other ideas that people have posted about crypto that have not worked. Got a fucking crease right there on me fucking nose, you know, Jesus, you know what I mean? I tell you what, when I'm old, my face is going to look like a crumpled up old ball bag, isn't it? Grey hairs on it. It's a nice thought to leave you with, but I'll leave it there because we're getting up to 12 minutes and I can't be fucked anymore. Have a nice Christmas. Have a nice New Year. Don't be a dickhead. <laughs>